What's going on YouTube? Guess who's back? Hello. <laughs> Isabella's finally back with me. She's gonna stay here for a couple weeks. But this video has to do everything with grocery shopping. What do I eat on a typical, basically on a daily basis. So, man, it's dark. Um, heading to the car right now. It's dark in this parking garage, but we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and you'll see what I grab to eat from there. Very simple, but I hope you guys like it. We've made it. So here we are. I'm just gonna grab some vegetables, maybe a little fruit and some proteins. But again, this is just the stuff that I get. Things that I would probably recommend you eat as well. Here you go, this is when uh, Isabella has a job. She's gonna have to hold on to the camera now. You can turn it off. Mushrooms, onions, broccoli, cauliflower, and broccoli alone. And uh, I think we're good for here. A couple pounds of beef. We get some chicken. try to get too much stuff because I always cook my meals fresh and I learned that I shouldn't buy too much food at once because uh, it's just it's not really ideal for my kitchen situation last but not least we got pineapples and blueberries to end our trip to Trader Joe's today unless this girl wants to get anything else carrots and hummus that's that's what she chose so all right, guys, we're done here. You ready to go? Yes. All right. You know somebody knows how to bag. They can put all this stuff in one bag. Lovely. I don't have to deal with the inconvenience of having to go around and grabbing multiple trips to my car. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna do a brief recap whenever we get home of everything that has been purchased. That'll be it for the video. So I'm gonna carry on with my day afterward. Tomorrow's my birthday. A lot of exciting things. I might go grab some food just for my repeat tomorrow. So if so, you guys can check it out. See you guys in a few. All right, so the whole purpose of this video is to show you that prepping is actually really simple. You don't have to go about, and and, and just get extraordinary amounts of food and different versions. Like find what works best for you, or what's best for your taste buds, and just stick with it for as much as you possibly can. And again, the whole point of flexible dieting is to eat, like I always say, is to eat as much real food, a variety of real food. So like, again, I just like certain things and I just stick with it. But of course, you can do whatever it is that you want. Remember that. So I always get chicken, beef, mushrooms, and onions. Uh, this I throw onto like my omelets. Um, my pizzas like I'm gonna make a pizza today. That's the reason why I bought them. I love I don't know why I just love them But I eat a lot of broccoli cauliflower um, I love blueberries and I sure as hell love some pineapples Oh, and I guess I can just show you guys the rest of the stuff that's in my fridge for now as well. So we have a lot of these muscleicious foods puddings uh, We got ingredients to make a cake for myself personally. I bought some muscle egg <clears throat> So there's some different stuff um, I always make rice every single day. Eggs, of course. The guacamole for my lean fats, you know, my avocado, monounsaturated fats. And I got plenty of cheese in here. <laughs> the cheese, again, is for the pizza, for omelets, whatever. But, oh, and yogurt. Yogurt's at the top. You didn't see it, though. 
that's pretty much it. So I make it real simple, easy. Uh, I don't go out of my way to do a lot of different things just because to me, making prep simpler is, uh, is actually much better for my, and just in my opinion, you know, it's different tastes, you know, for different folks. So till next time, everyone, Jeff and this Jonathan Irizarry, Man Sports, peace.